click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome back to the subject of Machine Design 1. We are right now learning about the lip springs and their design. So let us begin with the numerical one of lip spring design. Students, you can see the problem statement on your screen which says that a semi-elliptical lip spring is to be designed for the given data. It has three extra full length leaves, 15 graduated length leaves. So whenever they mention 15 graduated level or whatever may be the number, it also includes the master leaf. So we'll say including master leaf. Further, the length L CTC is given 1 meter. So it is twice the length because it is the center to center distance. Further, the maximum force P is given 75 kN. The ratio between the width and the thickness of one leaf is 9 is to 1. Further, the Young's modulus for the given material is 2.07 gigapascal. Let's write it 2.07 into 10 is to 3 newton per millimeter square and the maximum amount of stress is 450 newton per millimeter square further we need to find out the width the thickness the factor c and the p initial so as to bring the nipping to zero or so as to bring the given lip spring to the elimination that is nothing but the equilibrium of its own structure so let us quickly summarize the values Twice the p-value is given 75 kN, so that makes p is equal to 37.5 kN. 2L is mentioned 1 millimeter, so that becomes 0.5 meter. Further, we have been given this particular relation which we may have to use, and this is what the number of factors given. So, full length lips are 3 and 15 are the graduated so it makes it 18 with this data let us proceed we already know an empirical relation and we can already find this in the PhD data book the substitute the values 6 times into 0.5 meter which makes it 500 millimeter divided by total number of lips which is 18 into the width factor which is B into the thickness factor which is T. We already have been given the maximum value of stress and therefore let's substitute the value Now there are two unknowns basically but we already have been given another relation between them. So let us substitute that relation. We know that B is equal to 9 times the thickness. So therefore it becomes 9 times the T into T square. So that only unknown that is left with us is somewhere equal to 11.56 millimeter. Let's go for a preferred value so that T becomes 12 millimeter. We already know a relation between thickness and the width. It makes it 9 times the T. After substituting this value, 108 millimeter. The last thing is the initial force that is required to raise the nipping to zero that is the equilibrium of the lip spring. Let's substitute the values 2 times the graduated level which is 15 into NF that is full length into the force acting on one part 37.5 into 10 raised to 3. Further, it gives the total number of leaves which are 18, 3 times the full length which is 3 again plus 2 times the graduated which is 15. So after solving this expression we will get Pi is equal to 
Hence, a minimum of 4807.69 Newton force should be applied so as to keep the given lift spring in equilibrium that is in free stress condition. So there we have concluded with different factors. The first factor being T is equal to 12 millimeter which is one of the important factors. The breadth came out to be or the width came out to be 108 millimeter and the final thing is the initial force to uh, remove the nipping is 4807.69 Newton. So there we conclude with the first numerical. In the next session we will be looking at the second numerical where different aspect and different formulae are given. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to Ikira.